Hey everybody, Troy from the do-it-yourself world of electronics and today we're going to do another experiment with earth batteries. I have right now three pieces of heavy copper grounding wire in the ground here, one, two, three, and two nails. Now I'm going to get a third here in a minute. But first, before we proceed, I want to start, I want to check the, the ground is bone dry right now. I want to check the voltage of the earth battery and the polarity with a bone dry ground. So we have, um, I hope that shows up on the camera, 0 0.2 volts with bone dry earth. Okay, 0 0.2 volts. Now, I want to experiment and connect two of these together in parallel. The voltage should remain the same. And then I'm going to saturate the ground with water um, and see what happens if the voltage rises. Now this is pretty impressive with bone dry earth. I mean, there, this is dust. The moss is crunchy, powder, uh, because the sun has been scorching the land. So we'll be back in a minute here. Now, I haven't changed a thing yet. I want you to see as I do this myself. I'm going to take a jumper wire and connect it to ground. Connect the two grounds together. All right. Take another jumper wire and connect two positives together. And see, actually the voltage dropped a little. 0.22, it went up a, a tiny bit. No, it dropped back down, okay. It's actually going down, look at that, the voltage is going down. How interesting, very weird. So the energy is actually sort of being used in a way from this. Look at that. There it leveled off. Is it going to come back up? It's coming back up. How weird. Okay, now, there's that. Now I'm going to water the ground and saturate the earth, leaving everything else intact except for moving my meter and stuff. All right, so we'll be back in a minute. The earth is so dry, the water is running off. It's not even sinking in. It's, it's not even soaking in. It's just running off. I've got a pool of water streaming over here. This is not going to be easy to saturate the land. Anyway, shows you how dry it is. The water is actually pulling and running off the ground. It's not even sinking in at all. It's running over here. It's all running away. So I'm going to attempt to saturate the earth, the soil. I will attempt to. <laughs> Might have to move my experiment to lower ground. And we'll see what happens. All right, guys. 0.29 volts. I brought it up almost a tenth of a, uh, almost a hundredth of a volt. It was 0.22, almost a tenth of a volt. Sorry. It was 0.22. Most of my water ran off. It's not soaking in, so I could probably get. Oh, there's 0.3. It's coming up. As the um, water is sinking in, it's coming up. But it's really hard. Most of the water is pulled off over to the side. Um, anyway, there's that. Now, I have I want to experiment with a jewel thief, but I've got to get the voltage up to 0.4 volts in order to make that happen. And so I've really got to get this ground wet because it's it's just bone dry. So I could also try moving the leads further apart or closer together and see what happens. See if I can get 0.4 volts out of this. 0.31. I could also try moving them north and south of each other in different positions. And see what happens. With one further north, 0.30. By experimenting with positioning of the electrodes, I should be able to change the voltage as well. And the distance apart should also change the, the voltage. So let's try further apart, see what happens. Point three oh, I'm not having a lot of effect, still point three oh. 0 0.31, 0 0.32. Not having a lot of effect here. 
Although now I'm seeing a negative. Why am I seeing a negative? I thought that was... <clears throat> the copper is positive. Is that right? 0.33. I got to get that voltage up a tiny bit. And then I can try to run the Jewel Thief. See if I can run an LED off this. So I'm going to saturate the ground a little bit more. See if I can get some water in there. Um, again, as I said, it hasn't rained in a while and it's bone dry. They're up to 0.33. See what we can do here. I have 0.39 volts on the meter here. And uh, I'm experimentally going to hook up the Jewel Thief. I'm going to use my plus and minus wires, my red and black. I definitely got my polarity right. So I've got 0.39 volts. Point four zero, Still rising a little. Forget my plus and minus on here. On the Jewel Thief and see if we can get some light. I don't expect anything with just one earth battery. Nothing. Not even, not even dim. Now, if I connect multiple earth batteries, what will happen? All right, so I'm going to connect these in parallel. So, connecting the the one to the next, positive to positive, and then connect a negative to negative. Go with two earth batteries in parallel and see what happens. I'm going to move these leads so they're equal space to, with the others. Okay. Hope you can see everything. And see what happens if we connect that. If the Jewel Thief will light up. I'm not getting any light at all. Alright, let's try another. I'm up to 0.2 volts. The uh, voltage is rising, so it didn't affect the voltage at all by hooking up a circuit. Didn't change, didn't affect it in any way at all, hooking up a circuit. So let's see if I hook up a third, what happens here. Okay. It's bright out too, so it's hard for me to tell if it's even dimly glowing can't tell I think I'm going to experiment with some more water in the ground we've got 0 0.43 volts I don't know how much current we have but um, let me see let me get my voltmeter out of the way here I'm going to experiment and see if I can check for current here with this meter Okay guys, I hope you can see the meter. I've got 17 microamps with all three earth batteries connected. So it does make a difference. 17 microamps. Now if I take off one earth battery, it drops down. If I take off another, it drops down some more, 11 microamps. So each battery adds a few microamps. It's not much current. It's not enough to power the the Jewel Thief. So I'm going to try a different location in the yard. I just randomly picked a spot here and see if I can get more current. Maybe a more acidic location under a pine tree, for example. So uh, let's move this around. Hey, guys. I just moved to a place where the soil is more dense. I can barely push the copper rods in. This is where we walk all the time, so it's really compacted soil. And I had 19 microamps. I've got 17 and a half microamps with one battery stuck in the ground. But I can't really drive it in very deep. I've got the nail in, but I can't get the copper in very well. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I'm going to have to get something to drive these in over here. The earth is more compacted here from us walking it might make a difference on things too but why I moved here is because 
we ran some water here earlier. Let's see what happens when I connect these together and then add some uh, batteries in parallel. So we've got, it's dropping now, 16 microamps. Should go up now, almost double. 26 microamps, see? A lot better energy over here. I'm going to connect another, and I'm not even that deep in. I'm going to have to pound them in further. 34 microamps. I don't think it's enough to power the Jewel Thief, though. We'll come back in a minute and check the voltage. I just don't think it's enough current. There's four, almost 40 microamps. All right, so I'm going to disconnect the meter and switch it back over to voltage let's see what we got here for volts uh, 0.37 volts all right i'm going to find something to drive that in deeper and see what we, we can increase that some adding a little bit of water here went up to uh, 60 microamps it dropped right back down to 55 when i um just a second after i hooked up the meter so we're up a little bit Still no, no light on the drill thief. Not even trying. So um, there's, you can definitely increase the current by hooking these up in parallel. Of course, I'm using tiny little nails and tiny little pieces of copper. If I remove one, it drops considerably by 10 microamps if I remove another it drops down to 30 also interesting to note is that I only gain 10 microamps with every addition of a battery 10 microamps with each addition now we're up to 55 so if I had the materials I could So if I had the materials, I could make bigger batteries with enough current, probably to light the LED. So I think I have to look for bigger pieces of copper, maybe copper um, pipe, and bigger pieces of iron, maybe bar nails, big old big bar nails, for example, and see if I can increase the output enough to get that current up. Well, that's it for now, guys. Experimenting with the uh, earth battery. Unless I come up with another idea for this, I'll talk to you guys later. Troy from the Do It Yourself World Electronics. Guys, I just simply took a piece of uh, broken antenna aluminum and jammed it into ground right next to the copper and got 0.8 volts. 0 0.8 volts. So if I go from here to the nail, I get 0 0.4 volts. But if I go to the aluminum between aluminum and copper I get 0 0.8 volts so that shows me that the aluminum copper conduct a lot better now let me move the nail closer and see if it has to do with the distance I'm going to remove all other wires from here to make sure there's nothing else messed up in the experiment 0.44 with a, um, iron to copper 0 0.79 0 0.8 volts with aluminum to copper. Let me move the nail and iron up closer so we got an equal. Boy, I can't get that in there. Oh. Ground is really compacted here. See if the distance makes it. 0 0.48, 0 0.49, 0 0.5. Still, the aluminum to copper seems to make a huge difference. 0 0.8 volts. Interesting. Let's see how many much current I get there then. Um, 20 microamps for one battery. Interesting. Interesting. So, I'm going to try copper and aluminum. I'm going to string up some copper and aluminum batteries and see what happens here. Well, guys, the... 
aluminum and copper seems to give the best voltage. I got all the way up to one volt, but the current was only uh, 10 microamps. So experimenting in different areas, the um, different metal combinations, and I guess I'll keep experimenting and I'll get back to you guys when I find out the best metal combinations and the best location in our uh, yard here. But moving around, I, I got up to one volt, and, but low current. And at one point, I had up to 50 microamps with one uh, piece of copper and one piece of aluminum. But anyway, I can't get enough to light up the LED, so I'm going to keep experimenting and also see if I can find some bigger electrodes and see if I can improve that a little bit. So, all right, that's it for today, guys. Experimenting with an earth battery. Troy from the do-it-yourself world electronics, and I'll talk to you later.